the hairstyle came because I tore my ACL in 94. And when I tore my ACL in 94, um, wow, I thought my dreams were over. I literally thought that 93, my dreams were over to play in a World Cup in the United States representing my country. Everything I've worked for from 90 to 94 in 30 seconds in Orange Coast College disappeared on me, mic'd up, everything. I had a camera on me, the microphone on me from, uh, from ABC Sports, and all you see is me step back, step into a hole, and you just, you just hear the loudest pop in the world. Oh. So it, uh, it, it, and Jordan knows she's, she's been through this. It's, it's the worst feeling you'll ever have in your life. Cause you think your career is over. You think you're done. And, uh, man, I, I got lucky. I'll get emotional. So, um, I got lucky. I got lucky. I had a, uh, uh, a very good friend who passed away in Fernando who mentally put me back in the place I should be. I laid in bed, depressed, um, just miserable, man, miserable. And he would come every morning and say, get your ass out of bed, let's go. You're not gonna stay here. We've got eight months. You're gonna get your ass back in shape and we're gonna get you to a World Cup. He's like, I'm not going to the World Cup without you. And uh, little by little, little by little, I got out of this funk, which you don't realize how how mentally strong you have to be to get through something like that. And you don't realize it until you go through it because you just think the worst it's done. I'm not going to play anymore. And when you, when you have good friends, just like Jordan and her, uh, and her um, ACL uh, group she has, uh, you need people like that. You do. Because for me to, if I wouldn't have had Fernando, Charlie, I'm, I'm not sure I would have made it back, buddy. I'm not sure that I would have had, that that drive because you need somebody to fuel that fire you need somebody to to lift you and you need a good friend and mm -hmm. uh and uh that's what i had man he worked with me i mean as, as the teams were training i'm riding my bike around the track or around the grass because i saw a guy in england saying that if you if you ride on the grass it's more resistant it builds up your quads quicker fernando bought a bike we would go riding in the afternoons and back then, it was 12 months of recovery. I was back in six months. I was back in six months ready to play, and Bora wouldn't play me. So at that point, I'm like, I'm not going to cut my hair till I am back on the field, and I am ready to play for this national team and play in a World Cup. And, and to be honest, Bora uh, was the only coach, the only coach that had enough uh, belief in me. So he never cut me. He's like, you're staying. You're going to make it back. And the other coaches wanted to get rid of me because I overheard, they don't know, but I overheard them talking about how they should get rid of me. And uh, come to find out that uh, the day before the World Cup in, uh, in Detroit, Bora tells me I'm starting. So, like, I that's love my story. We, yeah, I love that. 